Hi, welcome to your career channel Coach Manish. In this video, we we'll look at what are the various domains in which mechanical engineering can get a job and they should focus on for their better future. So, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for updates on the latest videos. So, let's get started. These are the various domains we'll be discussing today, right from starting with manufacturing to aerospace, plastic, casting, forging, and so on. So before that, let us see what are the common mistakes mechanical engineering people do. The first thing is they focus too much on a particular software. Friends, learning any CAD software, be it Pro-E, CATIA, Unigraphics, or SOLIDWORKS, or any other software, it is just a tool. Just like how you use calculator, it is to make your work easy. But what is more important is, you should have the domain knowledge where this particular tool or the software will be used. So in this video, we'll see what are the various domains where you, can, you should have a knowledge along with the software to get a better future prospects. And the second mistake is they ignore the foundational elements of engineering. And the third one, as I said, which is not investing in domain knowledge. So why should you learn domain knowledge? Domain knowledge is important so that you save the cost for the company and you design a product straight away for manufacturing. Plastic and sheet metal domains could be a great way to start your long-term journey as these are the most popular domains. It adds more weightage to your resume and domain knowledge is required irrespective of which your product you are into or which your industry you are into. So let us focus first on the manufacturing domains. In that we have plastic, sheet metal, casting, forging, machining and welding, 3D printing and tool design. So in manufacturing domain, we have two things. The first one is product design domains and we have tool domains. In product design domain, we look at automobile, interior and exterior and body in white, home appliances, medical, machine designs, aerospace, medical equipment, electrical, electronic industry and packaging. These all are part of product do design domain. And in tool domains, we have plastic mold design, press tool, casting, BAW fixtures and measurement gauges. So the first one is aerospace domain. Most of the people when they are learning CATIA, it is used majorly in surface modeling. And surface modeling is required in automobile and aerospace industries. So aerospace is a term which widely refers to the industry that researches, designs, manufactures, operates and maintains vehicles moving through air or space. So in this, the process is about drafting, prototyping of aircrafts and spacecraft models. And it's a very diversified field with a multitude of commercial, industrial and military applications. So there are various uh, sub-domains in aerospace industry. It could be helicopter, aeroelectricity, then non-linear modeling, aircraft performance, physics and simulation. Then we have aeronautical engineering, advanced dynamics, smart structures, air safety investigation, linear modeling, fatigue and structural material analysis and urban air mobility. The next one is plastic domain. So plastic domain is highly recommended for mechanical engineers because of the wonderful properties of plastic such as easy maintenance, lightweight along with easy manufacturability. And it has greater relevance in automobile sector and nowadays even special plastic Special parts are manufactured using recycled plastic like road designs, 3D printer and automotive parts. And these are various kinds of uh, materials used in plastic. So you can see here some parts of uh, aircraft, the window here and this is again an automobile part here. The next one is sheet metal. So sheet metal industry also is very popular and uh, sheet metal is formed by an industrial process into thin flat pieces. A thickness of this sheet is varied between 5 mm to 6 mm. If the sheet is more than 6 mm, then it will be called as plate or structural steel. So basically sheet metal doesn't have volume, it is like flat. And it is used in automobile and truck manufacturing bodies for the manufacturing of the bodies. Then major appliances, airplane fuselages, fuselage is the main body of the aircraft and the wings. Then for tin cans, roofing for buildings and many other applications. And for sheet metal, they use the popular softwares are CATIA and CREO. Next one is casting design. 
So casting is a manufacturing process in which a liquid material is usually poured into a mold which contains hollow activity of the desired shape and then allowed to solidify. So whatever shape you want a particular product you put the hot molten thing into that particular mold and it is let to cool down. The solidified part is also known as casting which is ejected or broken out of the mold to complete the process and is also very much widely used. Next is forging design. So forging is a manufacturing process again involving the shaping of a metal through hammering, pressing or rolling. These comprehensive forces are delivered with a hammer or a die as you can see in the picture. Forging is often categorized according to the temperature in which it is performed like cold forging, hot forging or warm forging. Next one is machining and welding. Machining is the process of cutting, shaping or removing material from a workpiece using a machine tool. So majorly the CNC application of G-code and code comes under machining. And we have in this vertical machining and uh, other different different kind of machining and also differs as for the axis. And welding is the process of joining two plastic or metal parts by melting them with or without using a further molten material. You are all familiar with welding. Next one we have is uh, prototyping. So prototyping is the process of building a model or a draft version of an idea to reduce the manufacturing cost. So here you prepare a draft version and it is a method of product designing that is used in various applications in mechanical engineering and software development. It is also a stage where initial changes and product fixes occur before fabrication happen. So before the product goes to final manufacturing, you can do the initial changes and it is much, uh, it reduces the cost of the manufacturing. And the classification is based on nature such as physical prototype or it's a virtual prototype. So you can see uh, 3D printing is a physical prototype and it is also called as LED manufacturing because you make the product by adding layers of materials. So it is called as LED manufacturing and uh, it can be done uh, as I told uh, like it is uh, done by adding layers of materials. The next one is virtual prototypes. I told you uh, there are two kinds of prototypes. First one, one is virtual and another one is physical. So in virtual prototype we uh, design the software and we simulate it to see the actual thing what is happening and uh, they use various simulation software for this like ANSYS and other softwares and it they visualize the behavior how it will behave in the real world operating conditions like uh, we saw like recently Cyrus Mistry passed away and uh, you saw like he was sitting back side of the car so actually what would have happened to him when the car would have crashed to the divider the same thing is uh, visualized and it is uh, analyzed in a 3D software. So the impact, the impact of the person sitting behind the car is visualized and you can make the car even safer. Next one which is again a very popular and uh, growing field is BIW domain. BIW is called as body in white. It is a stage of automotive manufacturing and design and it refers to the body shell design of an automotive product such as cars. It is just a sheet metal welded structure. So when you see it is it's a sheet metal joint structure. BRW will not have doors, engines, chassis or any other moving part. So it is a completely non-movable part. So the uh, like the uh, so doors, engines, chassis are not part of BRW design. And the various materials used in BRW. And again we have two types in BRW. One is a monocoque body structure and another one is frame body structure. So you can just see the details here. And uh, BW can be divided into following substructures, underbody, front, body side, closures and roof. So there are more details here, I will not go into it. You can just uh, refer this slide. And these are the various uh, BIW parts. And the classification of BIW, underbody parts is engine room, cabin floor and rear floor, upper body is the roof structure and the pillars and closure is the front doors, rear doors, fuel doors, bonnet and you can see the things here upper body, closures and underbody. And the key components of uh, BIW upper body, key components of closure and these are key components of uh, underbody. And this is the assembly process of uh, BIW. And here is an example uh, of the assembly process of Renault uh, Logi. 
and what are the various VRW joining methods? Welding, in welding we have spot welding, seam welding and laser welding, fasteners using bolts, rivets, clinching and adhesives. And the examples of various welding, spot welding, seam welding and laser welding. And again, this is the welding process is shown here. These are the various mechanical uh, fasteners, bolt, hemming, welding, riveting. And the scope of VRW. So VRW is mainly used in automotive products and assembly designs such as car body, structure design, aerospace vehicle, or a vehicle like powertrain. And uh, the scope of plastic domain, it is very much used in electrical and electronic component design industry automobile interior parts, the toy industry where heavily plastic design is used and also in plastic mold designs. And the scope of sheet metal design is in the field of automobile industry, electrical and electronics, body designs, aerospace body designs, defense industry and rail wagon. So guys, uh, I hope you like this video and uh, post the video if you have any queries, please put it in the comment section. And if you want me to share this slide with you, Please make sure you put your email ID there and uh, do contact us on the details given below in the description and let me know how you like this video and if you want me to make a particular video for you based upon your need, do let me know and very much happy to make a video for you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you soon in the next video and make sure before you leave the channel, you subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so you can get the latest updates on my future videos.